Mi ambición fue tremenda. I wanted to make something sacred. Una película que diera las alucinaciones de LSD. Si tomara LSD, to change the young mind of all the world. Michel Sidoux say to me, I want to make a new picture with you. What do you want to do? I say, Dune. And he say, yes. C'était le plus beau livre de science-fiction, la Bible de la science-fiction, succès d'édition mondiale. I didn't read Dune, but I have a friend who said me it was fantastic. 3,000 drawings. I shoot the picture. Point of view. Movement of the camera. Dialogue. Designing the spaceships, the clothes, the whole look of his world. The castle. Open the mouth. Uh, the spaceship came in the tongue. Uh, his vision was so huge, so beyond what anybody else was doing at that time. Things that George Lucas wasn't even going to try with Star Wars. It's enormous. Part of Hollow's genius was finding the right people. David Carradine, Mick Jagger, Dali as the mad emperor of the galaxy. Dali said, can I have a burning giraffe? All right, all right, we'll have burning giraffe. Or some wells. Yeah, I say, I don't want to do it. I say, if you do the picture, I will hire the chef of the restaurant and you will eat as here every day. And I say, I do it. Giger nunca había hecho películas. I say to Giger, I need you as you are. Alejandro completely motivated you. It was wonderful. We will change the world. People did not do this film because they were afraid of his imagination. This is a movie that has its fingerprints all over so many other movies. Blade Runner, William Gibson, Matrix. Giger, he make the monster of Alien. And Hollywood start to use my group. It always leads back to Jodorowsky. Could be fantastic, no? It was a great time. It was that Motown time. And you know, here we are in the middle of all of this playing rock and roll. Nobody was making music like that in 73. Three black brothers from Detroit, Michigan. What were they called? They were Death. called Death. That's a good name. Have you lost your mind? You told us you guys might have a record deal if you changed the name. Absolutely not. We are fighting to maintain our identity. It's pretty hard to be black playing rock because you had to be Motown if you were black. White boy music. <laughs> got turned down by every major label. I just put the tapes in a safe place. I didn't think about it. One day the world's going to come looking for the Death Master tapes. There's been hardcore history sitting up in that attic, and no one's known about it. We're just now discovering this band that had been sort of lying in wait. Something they pressed 30 years ago, selling for 800 bucks. Dad, why didn't you tell me? He says, they're playing your music at underground parties here. It's been 34 years since the songs have been heard. It's one of those things that keeps you going to the record store, hoping for another great story like that. The ultimate trend, 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 trend. I don't know of a story like that. I don't know of one. If ever there is an air of intrigue and mystery around a pop artist, it is around the artist known as Rodriguez. We thought he was like the inner city poet. He was this wandering spirit around the city. He's like a wise man, a prophet. How many records do you think he sold in America? In America, six. Born in the troubled city. Well, it's still a bit of a mystery how the first copy of Cold Fact actually came to South Africa, but it spread very quickly. To many of us South Africans, he was the soundtrack to our lives. Everybody I knew had his records. 
that you can't get The message it had was be anti-establishment. Really, the first opposition to apartheid, they'll tell you that they were influenced by Rodriguez. But nobody knew anything about him. He was a mystery. And then we found out that he had committed suicide. And a lot of people have different versions of the story. He set himself a light on stage. He reached down and pulled up a gun. I thought it'd make a good story. Find out how Rodriguez died. There was nothing on the record to tell us who he was or where he was from. So we started looking quite deeply at the lyrics. I met a girl in Dearborn. We found him, we found him. These are the days of miracles and wonder. I heard he did a, like a little construction work. He was really doing the work that no one else wanted to do. Rich in a lot of things, but perhaps not material things. I said, in South Africa, you are more popular than Elvis Presley. Next day, he says, uh, Emerson, I got to go on tour. I said, why is that, Rodriguez? I wonder. This is really going to be Rodriguez. We'll only know if we can actually sing these songs. And the best part are still to come. Thanks for keeping me alive. <laughs> Because我们养了好多狗和猫 There are particular moments which allow a voice to change the way that people think. He's a Beijing Andy Warhol. He wants to shock you. When you see him drop a Neolithic pot, he's saying, I love the culture, but I want something new. I think the most important idea of our time is theater. They call him Ai Shen online, I God. That's a very dangerous description in China. <laughs> What inspired you to come up with this project? 5,000学生,对不对,你一口否认这个没有必要的,你得调查一下有没有豆腐茶工厂. You see when you're about to say these things. Are you worried? Yes, I am worried. If I don't push, it's not so happy. 草泥马祖国。草泥马祖国. It gets to him at the very end. I was thinking, don't do it. 娘了个逼的祖国。你好。你看有流氓的一面,就是他知道怎麼對付流氓。扣押我,扣押我被不被罰,我還認出你了,是你。I act brave because I know the danger is really there. If you don't act, the danger becomes stronger. He's probably the only Chinese artist who really cares about this country. He put his life on the line for something that he believes in. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! 
JR started 10 years ago as a graffiti artist, but JR would make his name by taking photographs and illegally passing the portrait on the street. That's where I realized the power of paper and glue. And so tonight, the TED Foundation will give him their highest honor and permit JR to make a wish. A wish that TED Foundation would like to be big enough to change the world. I wish for you to stand up for what you care about. And together, we turn the world inside out. Inside out, j'ai pensé, ok, on prend le truc qui est à l'intérieur, inside, et on le fout dehors. And then suddenly it's like, ok, passing the process to someone and saying, all right, now in your hand you have much more meaning than in mine, so do it. À travers l'imaginaire, vous concevez un autre monde. C'est comme si la photographie m'a redonné la vie. Et tu ne pousses pas des barrières dans un pays sans, sans te confronter vraiment. Tu, tu trouves les limites. Ne, ne mettez pas sur nos murs. Oh. Il nous appartient à ce mur. Oui, 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 oui. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui. 